Hi folks, I don't know if you can see that, um, there's quite a few crafts around, um, there's one there, I think there's one there, if you can see it, and there's one on the other side, you see both of them, one at the right hand corner lower down and one left hand side, so left hand, upper left hand corner, let me just see if you can get both of them in shot so you can see. Hi family. And there's another one on the other side. So I've got to wait for chance here to see if I... But there's quite a few of them around. As you've noticed, my posy. Okay, and the time is... Bear with folks. The time is two o'clock, exactly. And it's the 20th Now I can also get the phone Okay And the date up for you Let's see if the cat will move out of the way There she goes Okay, see the time can't see the date. Yes, for the date, didn't you? Sunday the 20th. Okay, let's go. Right, I was going to ask some questions um, about the new age community and how I've got loads of things wrong and I sort of wasted my time and um, challenging because everybody was saying about the new ascension happens and we enlarge it and that you'll feel this and you'll feel that. And it blocked a lot of stuff that was happening right in front of me. Okay, and I think I've gone through this already about first the ascension, the actual word ascension. That's what everybody in the New Age community labels it as. Is that um, when you feel the energy is coming in onto earth, when you feel a connection to a higher self or higher beings or feel more spiritual, um, and all the New Age community says it's an ascension. Okay, and they call it ascension. My family said that it wasn't, it's not ascension. It's not to call it ascension. We're not ascending. Okay. We're growing into what we should have been, into our natural selves. When you ascend, it means you're dead, it means you're dying. And that's what my family said. Okay, thank you. Confirm that it's not ascension. And you can see how the New Age community, every single one of them that I watched, like I said previously, has been fake. And everyone I've watched, I watched different ones because you, you you want to sort of connect with someone, don't you? Um, so I watched different ones: you, uh, male, female, black, white, Asian, young, old. Um, literally, I've watched different ones over time um, until I stopped watching them and it was from my family um, and even after my family appeared I was still watching some one says family yeah for a bit and I was thinking oh chat shit mate and they are um, so ascension was the first question that's my family when I, I got to speak to them so, is this ascension is this is what I'm going through ascension I said no there's no such thing as ascension it's a psyop the new age community is a up and they get you to they knew like powers that be you knew this time was coming so the try to get as many people on board as possible and misguide them um, and let them focus their energy on a false narrative um, that's their aim okay to, to lead you away from your natural self to lead you away from your um, your abilities and your knowledge your inner knowledge we all know this that's why religion was so created that's why there's so many people um, in the US community and UFO community. They know that we there's something in us, I say us, as in human beings now, um, where we know something is happening. So that's why there's all been set up and put in place to, to, to misdirect the energy that we focus on to a false um, narrative. Whoever is saying it, either it's religion or it's a new age philosophy or it's a philosophy. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, the things that said was happen. What well, some of the things did happen, but not in the way. So I never got the. As a, I'm going back far from again, far from the very beginning. I never got the Kundalini energy. It never rose from my um, tailbone or below my back, um, the bottom of my back, and rose up. I've never had that. That never happened. What did happen? The energies were, were going just directly over to my eight ball. I call it, and that's the. Uh, God, what's it called? Tell me, what's it called? Eight ball. What do I call it? At the front of your head, um, where your, um, between your eyeballs. What's that called? That one. So it's either going there or to my crown chakra, or to my heart chakra. Okay, or to my throat chakra. This you've got loads of different chakras. You name them chakras. I'm just doing it for the name's sake because people know that's where we're coming from. We've got loads of energy points in this body because we are energy. Okay, we all are energy. So that's why we've got so many points. You've got the main ones, which is the heart, um, eight ball, what's it called, and the crown chakra. Okay, and for me, that's where the energy comes from. All the energy goes, I feel the energy into those area. Um when I sometimes when I first started to get the sensations, I felt the energy it was like a, a, a wheel started at the top of my crown, before the top of my crown. So the, some people call it the soul chakra. Um, so about twelve inches above your head, six or twelve inches above your head. And I feel the energy coming down and looping round. So I'm going down to my crown chakra, to my eight ball, to my throat, um, heart chakra, go down to my um, abdomen, to my, uh, goes down to my feet, actually, it never stopped um, at the base of my spine. goes down and sort of, I felt it, felt it feels like it's going round, like a circular notion. Okay, I've said this before, and if I'm just going, I can't say, oh, you have to go straight to my, um, Crown chakra, the energies go in. And family goes, no, show me up. I, what did I say? How did I word it? The, the energies go in. I don't know how I word it, but family's going, no. Okay. Um, but for me, that's where the energy comes in. Okay. I'm not pulling the energy in, I think I said. Yeah, the family thinks I'm pulling the energy in, and it's not pulling the energy in. It's concentrating, not even concentrating, being relaxed and feeling the energies going to my various points. 